Welcome to VNB Television. I'm Bob the Veteran. And I am Heather the Blonde. As you can see, we have Toby the Furball. He is here as well to join. He is going crazy. Look at him. We are filming on location. Yes, as you can see, we are in a new kitchen. This is my mom's kitchen. The veteran is house sitting slash dog sitting, Miss Precious. And so we are filming at her house today. We were so excited. We had to show you guys what we received. It was from foreignmre.com. We love them because they're super fast shipping. And look underneath the boxes. This is our first time having a Russian box. Normally we've had the grab bags. It's even got a handle. It has a handle. Look at how wicked. Oh, there's Precious. She is telling you that she is present. But yeah, it is so neat. So this thing totally has like little images on it. Like the plane, a guy with a hat. There's like a helicopter coming in. I think that's like a boat or a ship. And then on this side, I really like this one. Look at the men standing with like the sun in the clouds. And this one has like a sniper dude. Look at him. Ooh, he's, he's ready. He's suited and booted. This thing is so cool and it's actually really heavy and it's I can't heavy. believe this handle like, that's a champ. We were so excited though. So, we are going to unbox it with you guys. We're not going to eat anything though today. We're just going to show you and you have to stay tuned to watch us eat them. <laughs> yes, you have to get ready. Right. We are though drinking some coffee. We're using the mom's cups. I got me a love and Bobby has a prescription for coffee. He needs caffeine. I need to go for caffeine. Mmm. And then Bob will show you what we are going to eat while we're opening this. So you guys can watch us eat something. A Sterling Foods fudge brownie. Ooh. TFF. Fudge brownie. Does anyone know what TFF stands what for? What does TFF stand for? I have never seen it break down to something. Does it like stand for something? Tough fun food like what is tff yeah we're so gonna nibble on that with our coffees while we see what's in here and we're super excited it is russian so again we're not gonna be able to read everything we did kind of already peek because you can open it without ruining it and some of it is in english yay because we do not speak russian so that'd be neat but yeah look at this hard cardboard box Cool, and on the back, I guess it right tells you what's in here. We can't read it. You know what it says. Bobby's getting our brownie out. He did very good. We had no scissors up. Toby's coming back. He did not make the jump at all. Okay, you gotta turn around. Kiss to the back of his head. Oh, it's really oh, little. It looks bigger. Pack. Mystery bag. Why don't you eat the brownie and I'll eat the mystery? Hey, <laughs> right, we don't do that. We don't want the veteran going to the hospital. Mom's lighting's a little different, so sorry we kind of look shadowed. You're going to see me looking up more so you can see my face. If not, I'm going to be a shadow. Like, Get wow. down, you furry sit. monster. Sit down. You got to sit, Bubbles. You got to sit. You can't have it. Oh, you going to get Bobby? Look at him. Isn't he cute? Yeah, this is cute. <laughs> All right, so we will... Start doing the unbox and we'll show you guys and we'll break the brownie up for each of us. Look at it. Look at all the stuff. Look at how much stuff comes in that box. Oops, I'm dropping stuff out. Some of this we have had before because we have tried some Russian products. We've just never seen it in its own box so it makes it so cool. We'll try to keep it so you guys can still kind of see in the view. We're going to get the fur creature out of the view. Sit down. Uh, I want you to pronounce that. <sighs> oh, wow. Yeah. I guess see the thing that looks like a 10, a pack stay. <laughs> gonna guess pieces. <laughs> but yeah, this is Mentos. Russian Mentos. We tried to, we didn't eat these. We tried to use them in our Coke experiment. It didn't work because these are more gummy, not mento -y. This looks like Ayo Baba. Ayo Baba. We have had this juice before. I really liked it when I put less water. Hi, old baba. You got a spoon. A spoon. 
I gotta say what I'm so excited for. This looks like a for. spoon in any language. A spoon. I am super excited to try this right here. It is Russian honey. Russian honey. Oh my god. It's part what we do it when we do try it. But look at it. It is really funny backstory since we're in Colorado and it's snowing. When this came in the mail, it was frozen. It now has kind of the thought where I can kind of squeeze it some, but yeah, it was frozen. But honey, honey y'all, Russian honey. I'm super excited for that. I think that's coffee, but I'm not quite sure. I believe those are tea, because I think you tea. had it before. I think that's a tea leaf tea. on there. I believe this one is the copy that says like, coffee, or There's however you stove. pronounce this thing. And one thing about their stoves, coffee. they work. They do. They work. And my favorite thing about the Russian MRE sugar. is the sugar. Look at the sugar they give you. One coffee. Look at these sugars. Like, if you stack them up, look at how thick that is. Like, that's like almost the thickness of like my wrist. Look at that. It's like my wrist thickness. Oh, you guys rock on your sugar. What do you think that is? Apple butter or apple jam. Because we have had stuff in, and we have learned whatever this word is right here. It looks like arapno. It's apple. I don't know. I don't know if we tried this exact one before. Maybe. Maybe. This is Bohopter. I think. You know what's so sad is I have been told multiple times, and I still can barely remember which one's which. I think they said green to your hands and whites to clean your utensils. I'm not sure. We get a lot of them. Give you like six of them. Chocolate. Or we're gonna go Maybe Russian low, chocolate. Maybe a low chocolate bar. It's a good size bar too. I can't recall. I know we've tried one with this font. I just don't know if it was that thin. This one I'm really curious about. I believe it's gonna be like cream cheese because I think that word that C C bip. I think that means cheese. We've never had it though in a heavy duty can. We've had it where it had like the tin lid. Did you put these Milk? in there? No, those are in there. These are Russian toothpicks. Toothpicks. Look at these suckers. I will say, I do think a toothpick though, possibly punctured and killed whatever this is. It's oh kinda has no, a little it doesn't leak. work. See how there's a little bit of a puncture? Aww. So it's gonna be questionable on what this looks like when we actually open it. It's not fully oozing out, but there is a little bit of drippage. I think a toothpick maybe punctured it. This thing is really soft. What is that? I think it was vegetable though. Uh, I think, I don't know. Could be a piece of box maybe. I don't think that's a scratcher. So, for our main components that we barely have ever tried from Russia, we're super excited. I'm probably gonna make pasta noodles when we eat these, only because it's kind of like a can show. But look at how heavy duty this can is. Like. Look at it compared to like my hand. This thing is like massive. It's the biggest can I've ever seen in my life. And it says it's like pork, pork, steamed pork. We're gonna put this over some pasta to see if we like it. But look at how big that can is. And Dude. we have another can of Biovella. And his is, was your steamed beef? Steamed beef. So we're gonna put both these over pasta noodles to see if we Looks enjoy like them that way. like spaghetti to me. And both of them say they're products of Lithuania. You see that? Lithuania. That's really cool, but these things are huge. Like, look at a normal can and then the giant normal can. That's so crazy. Crackers. Yeah, they do give a ton of crackers. It looks like we got four more bags of them. Two and two. We have a lot of crackers from them. And then it looks like we got some salt. We learned this condiment word is salt. A creamer. A creamer. Some of these we now know or we can guess. So that part is nice. And then it looks like they gave us. Oh, it's like. Yeah, what is I don't know. Probably instructions on one side. And this looks like probably a calorie count. But yeah, that's pretty neat. We are super excited to be able to try these foods. Cause we have never ever tried any of these main meals. I'm thinking it's probably gonna be cheese. 
I'm hoping we can still try this because it's supposed to be like a vegetable squash, I believe. And it's going to be delicious if we get to try it. Well, and a chocolate. I bummed out that that one is punctured. You know, I don't know if it's going to be usable. I'm not sure. I'm going to blame the toothpicks. I think it was the toothpicks' fault. I do think so. But we are super excited to try everything else because we have never tried any of the meats before. The honey. It is going to be awesome. There's a lot of new stuff inside of our beautiful case. It is so hard. That is really neat. We're super excited about this. So foreignmre.com. Check them out. They are so cool. They have great products. Try random foods. We are super stoked to be able to try this. So yay. Stay tuned to see us eat the food. And then now we're going to try the brownie. And this came in a US MRE. But I will say it smells like a brownie. It does. I'm not a brownie person. It does, does, does. Go ahead, dear. Have a crack at it. All right. So it totally is a brownie. It is tender. It smells like a brownie. I'll give him a small piece because we know he doesn't do as well. But if he likes it, maybe. It crumbles very nicely. Mmm. It's very soft. The top is like an icing layer. It tastes a little more cocoa-y. Yeah, chocolatey. More like cocoa, cocoa. than like milk chocolate. No, 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 not for Hmm. Yeah. Not bad though. It is rich, not bland. Oh, not bad. You just like a chocolate cake. I don't think this is that bad though. It is very, very rich. Like, it is milk. moist and chewy. Yeah, it's not hard as a rock at all. That thing stood <laughs> the test of time right there. <laughs> mm. <laughs> stood the test of time. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, and if you drink some coffee with it, it like just disintegrates. I don't think it's that bad. Pretty good. We have it. It's kind of rich. Kind of rich. Helps you drink coffee. <laughs> Dilutes it. Mm. Well, we hope you guys enjoy watching us. Do a grand reveal. I am really, room. I am really looking forward to that. Where are we? We are so excited. It's like army. What are we gonna? Are we pitching army. that after we're done with it, or should that be I saved? We're gonna try to save this box because this box is really, really cool. I super like it. We, it's not like you tear it open. I mean, the, it's got a little handle on it, for God's sake. Handle. Sense. How can you go wrong? That is so neat. It's like a little briefcase. Like a little briefcase, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah, so cool. We are so excited. What do excited you think that is on now. the back? I think it's uh, possibly calories. I don't know. The numbers are weird. Like, some of them just say, like, Maka 50, and then this weird thing. What does this big word mean right here? Might be a clue. But stay tuned, watching us try some Russian food that we can't fully read and some that we can read and some we can guess. But we're super excited. Honey, apple jam or apple butter, double yay. And then the meat stuff. I don't eat meat, so it's gonna be interesting. Yay. Do not eat. Don't eat it. The mystery pack. But like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you to everyone watching. Stay tuned. Take care. See you in a while. Toby. Bye. See ya.